Have you ever found yourself in a position where you had a meat dish and you needed something to go with it, a side dish? Like dumplings? Like dumplings, yes. Today we are going to make another Czech dumpling which answers that question of what to have with the meat. This is bramborové knedlíky, which is? Potato dumplings. Yay, so let's get cooking. Woohoo! These are our ingredients. There's potato, um, some seasonings, and an egg. And then the flour we use to make our equivalent of the coarse Czech flour. And we're starting off by boiling the potatoes to help get the skins off. Well, yeah, and it's more than that, too. It's shredding them and getting all the texture correct for these. So we boiled them, and oh, look at the boil. That, that was the magic of, of photography, that it just boiled so fast. And then we let them cool overnight. So these, this is the next morning or, yeah, it was the next morning. And we're skinning them. So then, well, they can tread better. Yeah, and you don't want to have the skins in the dumplings. That would give it a strange texture. So just, it didn't take long. We did a double batch and that took, you know, very few minutes to get all the skins off. And we used our fancy food processor to shred the potatoes yeah i love this food processor it saves a lot of time and this is the new one we broke the old one doing americans cook check recipes so uh there's the shredded potatoes and now we're we're mixing in our equivalent of the czech coarse flour which is all-purpose flour and, and about semolina yeah about 30 percent semolina so semolina is uh of course it's made of durum wheat and it's a coarser mill than the all-purpose flour in the united states and then cornstarch goes in. Yeah, and cornstarch, what's that for? It's to hold it together. Yeah, it holds together a little bit. And the, um, the semolina flour also helps with that too. And because we're making a double recipe, we put in two eggs. And this is a lot of stuff to mix. I'm already thinking at this point, how am I going to mix all of this? Uh, so we need to, uh, yeah, this is probably not the right way. This is how you mash potatoes in the United States as a potato masher. I started with, with that and that didn't work. I tried a spoon and finally I just threw it on the counter and just rolled it and mashed it together. And it made a really fun dough. Look at this. And there's a lot of it. I rolled it out into a big tube and then cut it into four pieces for our dumplings. And it and made beautiful dumplings. It did, yeah. And th there they are. They're in our steamer. We could have actually done two more dumplings in the steamer. It has another layer. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at how light and tender it is. That's just really good looking dumplings. And it's got a beautiful color. I am so hungry. Chef. I want more of them. We took these dumplings. We took them to a church picnic. Here's a picture of it. They were so popular. Uh, there's, I heard there was only one left. And here's our taste testers. Leah and Noah, hello. Oh, what are they doing? They're getting, getting fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I think etiquette would say that you eat dumplings normally with a fork, but you know, this is America. So what is it? What do you think? I... Oh, yeah. Were you surprised by that? Not really. I was not either. Noah is not a big fan of dumpling texture, is he? No. I thought, though, the texture was amazing because even though these didn't have any yeast in it, we didn't rise the dough at all with the baking powder in there. It actually turned out pretty light and fluffy. I mm -hmm. thought it was really great. Did we have any hints for this recipe? Um, we steamed them instead of boiling them. Steam instead of boil. Yeah. And it turned out fine. Turned out great. And we had a steamer. We needed to do lots of dumplings so we could stack the dumplings in the steamer. I guess if you were only doing a couple dumplings, boiling them would be just fine too. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's it, right? Yep. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing. It's down there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Doug. And I'm Sarah. Until next time, Dobru Hoot.